Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to be looking at the new Axis Reader G2 Professional by Ubiquity Networks. This just came out of the early Axis store a few days ago. And one thing to mention, Ubiquity did send this to me and I thank them for it. Right off the bat, I could tell you that this reader is 1000 times better than the old professional reader. The camera is a lot better and the keypad, you could actually use it. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at what comes inside the box with the G2 Professional. We'll get it mounted on a piece of drywall in my basement and we'll see the viewing angle differences between the new G2 reader and then the old reader. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting or Unify Access Consulting, visit my website at mactelecomnetworks.com. We do have a Discord channel and I have affiliate links down below in the description. Before we take a look at what comes in the box, I'll show you how to find this reader on their new website as it's changed a lot. So we can see I'm on the main dashboard of the website and at the top we have cameras and security. We're going to want to click on that. From there, we could see door access on the right hand side. We have the starter kit and then we have our readers. This reader is the first one that shows up. The Access Reader G2, which would be like their light reader, is also out of early access. I don't have one of those yet, but I will pick one up when I can. Now let's go see what comes in the box with the Access Reader G2 Professional. And this is the G2 Professional Reader. It has this 4.7 inch touchscreen, which is really nice. At the top, we have two microphones, we have a TOF sensor, and then we have our camera. The camera is a 12 megapixel camera and it does 30 frames per second. On the bottom, this is where we're gonna have our status like indicator. So if it's adopted or not, once it's adopted, you will see a blue light. And then there is this little flashlight on the bottom of it. There's gonna be multiple ways that we could open the door with this reader. We could use NFC cards. We could use the new Axis Pocket key fobs. We could use Unify UID or we could use a pin pad. If you look at the side of the device, this is where there's a speaker built in and then we have our one gigabit port. Under the reader, this is one of the mounting brackets and it feels like it is metal and it's really good quality. They give us a grommet to weatherproof it and to keep dust out. And then we just have our normal anchors and screws. On the very bottom of the box, we have this gang box mounting cover. So let's take a look at what comes in that. First, we have our template for mounting and then we have the bracket that we'll be using. This is the one I'll use to put onto the drywall. And then we have this cover. So I think this will look really good on indoor applications. Now, before I install this, I'm gonna adopt it into the Axis controller so that we could take a look at what the pin pad looks like. Now we're inside of my Unify Axis controller and we could see that we have one hub hooked up. If we go over to the readers, we're gonna see the UA Pro is offline, but we will put that online so we could compare them. At the top, we have the UA G2 Pro and we're gonna to click to adopt. Now the reader is online, let's click on it and see some of the settings. So we have our overview, it's gonna show us which door it's connected to, and then if we hit this little play icon, it will show us the video, so let's do that. All right, and this is the live view from the reader as of right now, and we can click to unlock, we could have our microphone and we could listen in. Obviously, this isn't the best viewing angle because it's just sitting on my desk, but we will look at the viewing angles between this reader and then the first generation. This one is ADA height compliant. Now under our settings, we could change the door name. We could change the direction if it's an entry or it's an exit. And then we have our access methods. So we could do NFC card and we can do pin. I'm gonna select the pin. And then under advanced, we have show doorbell on screen. So there's a little doorbell icon that we could swipe up and then it will call us to let the person in. And this will have our display brightness, volume, and detection sensitivity. Now, a few more settings within Unify Access. If we want it to record our video, we need to select that. So we need to go to our settings and then to system. Under the system, we have recordings and this is door unlock recording. I have video and audio. You could do only video or you could disable it altogether. And I have it for a duration of 10 seconds. Now there's a couple different options that we could do for our pin pads. We could either do it for four digits, six digits, or eight digits. We could also allow a simple pin, which we're not gonna wanna do. Another thing that's really cool about this pin pad is we could randomize the keypad layout and we will take a look at that, but for now I'm gonna have it just on its default. So I'm gonna bring the camera back over to look at the reader and check out the pin pad as well as the doorbell. And here is the display after it's been adopted and at the top it's telling us the time, the door name, and then we have this swipe up to ring. So this would ring your phone or whoever's managing your access. You could have a bunch of different door guards. You could also see that there's NFC and then we have an unlock pin. So let's swipe up on the doorbell and we should see this call my cell phone. And you could see that we have a notification from Unify Access, so that's great. 
we could click on that notification and then open the door. Now let's take a look at the pin pad. So I'm going to unlock with the pin and you could see just how big these numbers are. We'll take a look at the old reader and how small they are. But right now they're just in order one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. So what we want to do, if you want to have more security, you could randomize these numbers. So if somebody's looking over your shoulder, they won't be able to guess what you're doing. So I'm going to click on the randomization and then we'll take a look. And this is what the randomized numbers look like, which is great for security. It can be a bit of a pain in the butt, but security should be the most important to you. Now I'm going to hook up the other one and we'll compare the different sizes of the pin pad. And this is the first generation reader. Let's click on the pin. And you can see that the pin is a little bit smaller on this reader. I do prefer it on the new professional reader instead. This reader also isn't ADA compliant and we will see that. So if you are capturing video and you're walking towards it, this really just captures your chest, whereas the new one will capture your face. There were also multiple issues with this reader and screen tearing if you're using it outdoors. I'm hoping that they fixed it with this one, but I won't be able to let you know until I test this extensively. Now I'm going to go get this installed in my basement and we'll take a look at the video of the different heights to see if it does actually capture my face. All right, and this is how I installed it. I just had a piece of drywall in my basement hanging in between my door, but we could see the new reader on the left and then the old reader on the right. I do like the look of the new reader a lot better. It is though quite a bit bigger than the old reader as you could tell. So I did fob in a couple times on both of the readers. So let's take a look at the footage to see which video is better. And this video is from the new G2 Professional and I am fobbing in with my NFC card. So let's take a look at the video. We had tell here that we could see my full face and pretty much my whole body and my ugly rack which I need to redo. But now let's look at the old reader. And this is the video footage from the old reader. We can't even see my face at all. All we could see is my chest, which does us no good for the video capture for our security. Now that's going to be it for this video on the Axis Reader G2 Professional. And what do I think about it? Well, I really do like it. That new camera makes it worth the extra money. The Axis Reader G2 Professional is $359 usd and the original one is 299 the one thing that i'm going to have to test out more is this reader outside to make sure that it doesn't have any issues with the screen and i will follow up with another video or a short about that later on if you have any questions about this video please leave it in the comments below if you like this video hit the thumbs up button if you're new here please subscribe and hit the bell icon all right thanks